We are gathered here today at the Evans Mill Retreat Center in Smithville, Tennessee, uh, with a group of over 12 community foundation leaders from around the country. These are pioneers, these are leaders in the community foundation field who are dedicated to moving their money from traditional investments on Wall Street to direct investment in their home places. They're pioneers who, by coming together, are really changing the face of philanthropy for community foundations. You all have helped me tremendously with balancing the philosophical with the practical. Most of these foundation leaders who are trying to do this work felt like they were operating in isolation before the, we brought them together in the Community Foundation Circle. It can be a pretty lonely job when you're trying to move forward something that's unique. So having those really deep relationships with other community foundations prevents you from feeling a little lonely out in that space. It's just a validation that you're not crazy, <laughs> that this work is important and that we can think differently about how money uh, comes in and flows through our communities. The community piece of it is huge. I mean, it really is what makes it special and unique from anything else I've ever experienced. If I hadn't had this group to draw upon, I'm not sure I would have been able to lead that effort at my foundation. In that experience, I saw a lot of poverty. At each of these gatherings, we bring in domain experts to be a part of the circle. A lot of this is quite new, so having those resources of people who are experts in different pieces of this, being able to pull that together to move your strategy forward has been incredibly helpful. To be able to see what other community foundations have done and how they've used this tool in their communities, even though they're very different you know, than us, there's so much to draw from and um, there's so much to be inspired by. Our board just this past fall made the decision to um, commit 20% of our assets to direct impact investing and that was really supported by some of the feedback from the people in the circle. Without the rigor and the access to the thought leaders and the materials, I don't know that I would have come to such an easy way of framing this to move these ideas forward. Each of them has become it's like a collection of pebbles that's been thrown out in all different directions and they're already all creating their own ripples in the space so it's just going to continue to grow from there uh, but they're going to stay joined by this common experience of the last year and a half the cfc is part of a bigger story both rsf and bali and all of the leaders who are involved in this really have a pretty audacious goal which is that we would like to see a totally different economy one that actually honors people at a human level, creating these alternative solutions and then lifting up those successes so that others can walk towards them and replicate them, um, that we can hope to create an alternative so that we will have a very different future. Me Foundation Circle has been inspiring. My experience with the Circle has really been transformative. I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to be here.